Finding the time to fit in everything that a good art curriculum covers is a challenge for any art teacher. Resources must be vetted, standards to consider, and pedagogic requirements are pressures that sometimes get in the way of our better angels. Most art teachers I have talked to wish they could incorporate more art history into their studio classes, but for many reasons find this difficult to do. About eight years ago, while teaching at the International School of Beijing, I created the ISB Art History Channel on YouTube. Originally, it was intended to be a resource for students who had missed the introduction to a new project because of their extracurricular activities. A short while before, Salman Khan began developing the Khan Academy and the idea of flipping the classroom was born. It became apparent that using video that students had access to outside of the classroom would be a perfect way to maximize studio classroom time without sacrificing the teaching of art history. Since that time, the ISB Art History Channel has continued to grow. There are playlists dedicated for high school, middle school, and elementary. There are now over 85 titles for students from K to 12, made in collaboration with art teachers from all grade levels and from all around the globe. This short video will give you some classroom tested ideas about how you might incorporate these videos into your courses. Short subject videos are designed to give background information and generate excitement and inspiration. Suitable for introducing ideas or themes, videos on various topics from art history exist for all grade levels. For high school, there is the Three Minute Movement series that highlight artists other than the usual suspects for many of the West's art movements. The videos on the playlist Muse for Middle School and primarily Art History for Elementary School focus on artists who address certain grade level appropriate themes. These videos are between three and six minutes and cover subjects like masks from around the world, found object art, still life, or the circus in art. There's also the Have You Heard About series that are multi-grade level introductions to various art techniques and genres. The videos in the A Not Presentation series were created specifically to be part of projects that I do with my beginning and advanced high school students. These longer videos address topics found in contemporary art, such as formalism, the narrative, identity and gender, or the death of art. These contemporary problems are the basis for art projects, include art history and theory, as well as a studio component. The New Foundations playlist supports projects for more advanced students that address themes that are based on Olivia Goode's postmodern principles. These videos address themes like appropriation, finding your voice, the gaze, or text and image. I want all my students to learn how to think like artists. This requires me to design curriculum that provides the opportunity for students to explore artistic problems the way that real artists do. The playlist for each grade level provides titles that show students how to approach their study of art effectively. Project Zero's Eight Studio Habits of Mind are explained in videos appropriate for elementary, middle, and high school students. As part of the Discovering Art and Muse playlists, there are videos that address thinking and writing critically about art. These videos are based on the way of decoding art developed by Dr. Renee Sandell using form, theme, and context, also known as FTC. Discovering Art, the Search for Meaning, and Cracking the Code introduced high school and middle school students respectively to how the integration of form, theme, and context are the key to discovering an artwork's meaning. After spending time practicing art analyses using FTC, students can move up to a more independent and sophisticated approach. Discovering more about art is a video for advanced high schoolers that emphasizes a more mature synthesis of their art analysis. There's an online tool I developed known as the Artomatic, where students can develop their analytical skills. The Artomatic allows students to create visual annotations of artworks and provides guiding questions, links to art terminology, and support for language learners. Of course, there are instructional videos on how to use the Artomatic on the ISB Art History Channel as well. You are no doubt familiar with the online platform Kahoot. The short subject videos are rich enough to be an independent teaching tool. An effective way to use them, and a good way to check for comprehension of the ideas presented, is to pair them with Kahoot. Here's an example of the beginning of a Kahoot I made about cubism. As students become more advanced and are able to assimilate information with less teacher assistance, 
The longer thematic videos can be viewed independently. Edpuzzle, another online platform, can be used as a teaching and assessment tool. In Edpuzzle, you can embed questions within a video. The video will play and pause so that students can answer the question. This allows for more open-ended questions. Edpuzzle also presents a built-in gradebook. Typically, I'll use a short video as a hook to generate interest when introducing a project. To get a discussion going, I use a platform known as Padlet. This allows everyone in the class to share responses in real time. It's great for involving those students who are hesitant to participate in discussions. The videos on the ISB Art History channel have helped me expand my students' knowledge of art history and theory exponentially. The results show up not only in the depth of understanding about art shown in their writing, but in their studio work as well. The ISB Art History channel videos are made by art teachers who are not necessarily experts in art history, but are experts in teaching elementary, middle, and high school students about art. There are, of course, many great resources on the web for teaching art, including ones for downloading YouTube videos if you are not allowed to steer your students there. The videos shown here are meant as a resource to augment your creativity as a teacher and help unleash your better angel. If you would like to further explore projects I've designed using these videos, you can find many on my website. For more detailed explanation to integrating a thematic approach in an art curriculum, you can find my books on Amazon.com.